Hello, this video is on bouncing a ball uh, on your head. And sometimes they use this in soccer or football, but it works really good as a skill. Okay. One of the first things I'd recommend for working with a ball on the head is understanding the three or four focal points that you can actually place the ball on your head fairly easily. The first part, or the first place, is right on top of the forehead. There's a little flat spot on the forehead. So just to practice, you can do this with any ball. Just put the ball right where that flat spot is on your forehead, and it should just stay there. I'm not balancing it much other than just sort of keeping it in that spot. That's the first place you want to practice. The next place, and it's actually two places because it's on both sides, and that's the temple. The temple is the same idea. You want to hold the ball on your temple, sort of kind of press it into that spot, and then lightly lift your fingers off until you have that, that spot where the ball can just sit there. Now, if it presses up against your ear, just try to let it roll back onto the temple. You want it more into the temple instead of braced against the ear. You want to practice the other side also. Other hand, placing it on the temple of the other side. Slowly let it go. Now, as you do this, you want to practice trying to go between the different spots, and that's just called rolling the ball. When you do that, you want to use your hand to help, help it adjust as you get better at doing it. Help your hand to help it adjust. Now, I noticed it hit my nose, and when it hits my nose, I just put it back on my forehead. Okay. Back to the temple and hold it there. Some people do temple to temple and hold it there. And that's how you're going to get better at that trick, is it's really difficult to do it right off the bat. So you want to practice putting it into your muscle memory. And what you, whatever you can do, that's what you should practice. For me, it's a little bit easier going from temple to forehead, so that's what I'll practice without my hand. And then that, I notice that I do need a little bit more balance to make sure it stays in there. So as you move from different locations, you need to make sure that you adjust your head so you stay under it. Okay, those are the basic three spots. There's also on the back of the, the neck, and that is you put it there and you're going to lift your shoulders up. So you can practice if you're on the forehead, roll it back, putting your shoulders up. Okay. It sort of moves off out of the spot, that's okay, just try it again, and do the same thing. If you need to, you can go ahead and use your hand to help it get back there. That way you can practice doing it. Uh, for soccer or football, uh, I seal up, they just go right into it, and that's okay too. It's going to be that same idea. Uh, you'll get better with practice. Try it a couple times. Noticing it's hitting my head a little bit as I do it, trying to make sure it doesn't do that this time, and down. Hit my head again, down, a little bit better. But that's the spot there. And the good thing about arching your shoulders up and your head up is it's going to find that spot a little bit easier. Now, the other spot on the head they can sort of keep a good balance on. But this is more of a balance trick, so it's a lot harder. For this trick, I'm going to start raising the ball up higher and higher on my head. And for this trick, it's really important that you see the edge of the football. By seeing the edge of the football, it helps you keep it centered and help keeps it balanced. So I'm going to move it as far up as I can while I can still see the edge of the football. And I'm not going to go any farther, because if I can't see it, then it's, then it's sort of a random balance, and that I'm not really sure how to do that. But it's pretty good just being able to see it, and you can maintain the balance that way. Okay. So let's see. I'll start with it on my forehead. And I'm going to start slowly moving it up my head, but I have to make sure I keep my head under it at its center the whole time. And I'll move it up as far as I can go with it being where I can just see it. Because right now I'm looking at the edge of the football or soccer ball. And that keeps a good balance that way. Then you can go back into your forehead balance which is a lot easier. So if you want to juggle while having the balance, this is a good one because it locks into place pretty easy. This one, it's going to be a lot harder. You'll be able to see your juggling pattern a little bit better, 
but you're going to have to move around to make sure that you stay under that, stay under the ball for the bounce. Now, bouncing the ball. You can stall it, which is what I was kind of showing there, and you can bounce it. To practice it, I've seen some people that use their forehead. I like to use the point of my head. Either one, whichever works best. It's probably whatever you practice the most will be best for you. So I like using the point of my head. And what you want to do is you want to just practice keeping your eye on it. A lot of people, I see them when they do it, they stop looking at the ball. You need to keep your eye on the ball the whole time to make sure it's centered. And then you're going to adjust yourself as it bounces, making sure you stay under it as it bounces. And then also give it a little pop-up. So I'll, I'll just toss it up, hit, 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 hit. Just do it a few times, practice. What I always like to say is 10 sets of 10. Uh, so like one, two, three, oh, I'd call that a two, then do it again. Three, four, five, three, four, five, six, seven, and go up to 10, then do it again. If you get better at it, then you can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then start it again. Ten sets of ten. If you could do that, you're really building that muscle memory. Ten sets of ten, that's a hundred times. So let's go ahead and watch how I hit that ball again. You don't want it to have to go too high or too low. Uh, too high, it's going to be bouncing and it could bounce off a lot farther. The higher it bounces, the more farther off it could bounce. The lower it bounces, the more you can sort of lose it and it'll go into a stall. So I'm going to sort of keep it at a medium height, making sure I try to stay under. Ultimately, you want to get good enough where you don't move your feet and you just keep that ball bouncing. And what I'm doing is, like I said, I'm just doing that point. See if I can do my forehead. There's more of my forehead. But like I said, I like the way that point feels. Now, for the stall, I'm not going to do anything but sort of stand still and let the ball just sort of ease itself onto my head. And this is where you need that balance trick. But if you're practicing the forehead, it's probably a lot easier that way. But for me, I like doing it off, off that point. Okay, let's try that again. On the point, let it stall. Then to get back up, I do a little jump. back to those bounces and just let it stop. So I stop moving and I let the ball come to me. Okay. Now, the other places I kind of wanted to show you for the head bouncing that works really well is the shoulders. So the shoulder hits, you want to stay strong with the shoulder and not, uh, not limp. If it's limp, it's just going to go to roll off and bounce off to the side. If you stay strong, yeah, it may bounce too much to the other way, but that's kind of what you want, is you want a strong shoulder. And just like the tip of your forehead with that bounce, you want that tip of the shoulder so it bounces straight up also. And then just practice. Just throw it up to the shoulder and hit it. And sort of get the feel of it. Once again, 10 sets of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You want to practice going both sides. And I'm going to just sort of lean myself under it. So wherever the ball goes, I'm going to put my shoulder underneath it. Practice going both sides. and back and forth, back and forth. You want to alternate between the shoulders and the head. A good transition is shoulder, head, shoulder, head, shoulder, you know, back and forth. Uh, very difficult, but. So going back and forth. With those combos, you can really do a lot. Just sort of having fun with it. You know, back stalls. So the more you vary it, the better it's gonna look. Uh, with football or soccer, you also have the ability to kick it. Take a look at my soccer foundations for how to kick a football. And this is, you know, once it gets off uh, below your waist, 
and it's up here, you can have a lot of action that you can do there too. Okay? Good luck with hitting a ball on your head and on your shoulders. <laughs>